people like you support the Justin Hall Show on Patreon, visit patreon.com slash Justin. Hi, my name is Justin Hall, and I own the web domain bud.com. I registered Bud.com in 1994 when I was a 19-year-old intern working at Wired Magazine in San Francisco. I liked that it was short and kind of cute. Plus, I had a friend in high school who called me Bud. I was a big fan of marijuana, so it seemed like a great domain to register. In 1996, California offered one of the first medical marijuana ballot initiatives in the United States. I used Bud.com to post promotional material. In 1998, I took Bud.com and used it as a place to host a group weblog. In 2010, my friend came to me with a script they'd written for users to post anonymous comments. And I liked this because marijuana is still something that a lot of people do, but it's kind of illegal. You can't necessarily be honest about your own usage of marijuana or your questions about it or the ideas you have when you're high. So maybe Bud.com could be a place where people could just have a loose, informal social exchange around marijuana. A lawyer working for Anheuser-Busch did approach me in the late 1990s, saying, Hey, you just got out of college, didn't you? And you own this domain, bud.com. I said, yes, I did. I just got out of college and I do own the domain, bud.com. He said, well, how does $50,000 sound to you? And I didn't think very long before I replied, you know, I'm hoping the $50,000 is about the interest payment off of whatever amount of money I would get for a domain this short and this cool. I enjoy marijuana. But I don't necessarily believe that everyone should have all the time lots of marijuana. There was a guy I went to college with who got high too many times and sort of began to talk about why the government was putting radio transmitters in his teeth. I think he kind of lost his mind and marijuana might have helped. So I think it's good that people are a little cautious because it's a real drug with real powers. But I do think it should be legal. I do think that adults who can handle themselves should be able to get access to this thing and treat their symptoms with it. It's clear that there's some medical maladies that are best treated by medical marijuana. And there's people in jail today around marijuana crimes. It's just a bad idea. If those people aren't really doing anything else bad, they should be able to go to school and get a job and still use or share marijuana on the side. I would love to see if I could use Bud.com to promote some plant harmony to promote some marijuana literacy, to promote people having healthy access to useful medicine or measurable pleasure. That's my hope for Bud.com, and I'm not sure how to get from here to there. So I'm making this video because it's been fun to have this domain for a while, and I wanna figure out what else I can do with it. If you have some ideas for what I should do with Bud.com, please comment on this video or send an email to justin at bud.com. Thanks for watching, and take care of yourself. <laughs>